Welcome to the Solax Instructional Installation Video Series, we will guide you through the installation and commissioning of Solax's X3 IES on a floor mounting stand. We will provide detailed step-by-step -step instructions to ensure the successful installation and commissioning of Solax's X3 IES. Before installation, we kindly request that you take a moment to scan the QR code to read the X3 IES installation guide and familiarize yourself with all the warnings and caution notes. First, let's get started with the introduction of the X3 IES. The X3 IES system with all-in-one design consists of one inverter and battery system that matches six battery modules at most. Please prepare the following tools before installing the inverter. Let's briefly go over what comes in the package of the Solax X3 IES system. The battery system consists of the BMS, battery module, and base. If two towers are used, you need to prepare a series box. In the case of wall mounting, you should also prepare a base support in addition to the required materials. Now, let's have a look at the physical appearance and dimensions of the X3 IES. A hot plug interface is designed on the bottom of the battery module or the BMS. The series box is used when there are more than four battery modules to be installed. There are two ways of installations for the battery system, one tower and two towers. This video will take two towers, option D, as an example. To ensure a proper installation, please follow the guidelines. Firstly, please avoid direct sunlight, rain exposure, and snow accumulation. And select a location away from flammable materials and antennas. It is recommended to install an awning or cover over the device. Secondly, the ambient temperature should be between minus 30 degrees Celsius and plus 53 degrees Celsius, and the humidity should be within 5% and 95%. Also, the device has IP65 protection. Remember to avoid installing the device at altitudes exceeding 3,000 meters. A cement wall is required for the installation of X3 IES system. When the wall mounting is selected, please ensure that the thickness of the wall should be more than 150 millimeters. When the floor mounting is selected, the thickness of the wall should be more than 100 mm. Also, ensure the system is installed in the correct angle. For multiple systems installation, make sure to leave a minimum space of 30 cm between each system, 30 cm from the ceiling, and 9 cm from the wall. Next, we will proceed with the mounting process. The X3 IES system supports two installation methods, floor mounting and wall mounting. It is recommended to install the IES system with floor mounting. In this video, we will demonstrate the mounting steps using four battery modules floor mounting as an example. After unpacking, firstly prepare and install the base and battery modules. Locate the base 90 mm away from the wall, mark the location of the base on both sides with a marker. Place a spirit level to check whether the base is even. If not, rotate the adjustment screws clockwise to ensure that it is even. Assemble the angle bracket and adjustable bracket together. Mark the position of the brackets on the wall. Drill two holes on the wall, and insert the expansion bolts into two holes, tighten the screws to secure the bracket on the wall. Remove dust covers from the base, battery module and BMS before installation. Lift and place a battery module carefully on the base. Insert and tighten the fixing screws on both sides. Same as the first battery module, install the second battery module carefully, and make sure that the corners and edges of the battery modules are aligned. Then install the fixing bracket on the top of battery modules. Assemble the bracket and secure the bracket with screws. Use cardboard to mark the position of the mounting holes for the inverter. Then, drill the holes and insert the expansion tubes. Next, install the BMS. Remove the dust cover of the BMS. Lift and place the BMS carefully on the top of battery modules, and then tighten the fixing screws on both sides. Remove the dust cover of the inverter, lift and place the inverter carefully on the top of the BMS. As IES system applies stacked installation, there is no wiring for batteries, the battery system is plug and play, which is easy and convenient for installers. Tighten the fixing screws on both sides of the inverter. Then install the fixing brackets on both sides of the inverter. 
Lock the self-tapping screws into the wall, then fasten the bracket with the inverter. Next, we'll move on to the wiring session. Please prepare the following tools before wiring. In the X3 IES system, PE is integrated inside the AC port, so there is no need to grout the housing. Prepare a 5-core grid cable and a 5-core EPS cable, thread the cables through the AC terminal. Strip 14 mm of the cable, insert the stripped cable into a ferrule, and crimp the ferrule firmly. The same goes for the rest cables. Then insert the crimped cables into the corresponding EPS grid ports. Then lock the cables with the Allen key. Please make sure the phase of the cable matches the phase of the corresponding port. Plug the head of AC terminal into the AC plastic case. Make sure the silk screen side is upward. Then tighten the fastening head. Finally, plug the wired AC terminal into the grid and EPS port of inverter. You can choose either to install meter or CT with the IES system, but no need of both at the same time. For CT connection, CT cables should go into pin 1 and 8. Make a network cable by using the RJ45 crimping tool, make sure the pin order on the two sides of the cable matches. Plug terminal A to the CT port. A clear, click sound indicates the connection is successful and firm. Plug terminal B to the meter CT port of the inverter. Clamp the CT to the live cable, and the arrow on the CT must point to the public grid. When using the Soli x -Chint meter, connect the meter cables from pins 4 and 5 of the inverter meter port to pins 24 and 25 of the meter. Directly plug the terminal A to the meter port. Please refer to meter manual for more information. Before PV connection, make sure that the PV module output is well insulated to ground. Prepare the PV cables, metal pins and PV terminals. For positive connector making, it is also necessary to follow the process of stripping, crimping, and fastening the head. Use a multimeter to measure the voltage between one pair of PV cables. The open circuit voltage should not exceed the input limit of 580V, otherwise, the inverter will show PV over voltage. Finally connect the assembled PV cables to corresponding PV ports on the inverter. Please make sure that the positive PV cable is connected to the PV positive port on the inverter, so as the negative cable. For monitoring connection, remove the dust cover on the dongle port. Plug pocket Wi-Fi 3.0 dongle into the USB port. Please make sure the QR code of the dongle is upward. Please note that the Wi-Fi module should be put in an open space that is within the Wi-Fi signal coverage range, and the Wi-Fi router needs to be connected to a public network. In the X3 IES system, you can connect max 6 batteries, for 2 3 batteries just install in one tower. When the inverter connects more than 4 batteries, 2 towers installation should be selected. Repeat the process of battery module installation, then place the series box onto the top of the second battery tower. The side of the series box with R shall be lean against the wall. Screw the PE cable to ground port on the BMS. Connect heat port of the BMS to heat port of the series box. Connect COM port of the BMS to COM port of the series box. Connect B positive of the BMS to B positive of the series box. Connect B negative of the BMS to B negative of the series box.
Please note that the battery positive cable is red. Finally, put the protective cover on the top after finishing wiring. Turn on the DC switch on the inverter. Press the button on the inverter, the button is in off status by default. Turn on the AC breaker and wait for the inverter power on. Before the next trial, it is recommended to wait at least 10 seconds to press and hold the BAT button. IES can support local LCD screen setting and app remote settings. If you want to know more about how to set on the app remotely, please skip to the next section, App Setting. For work modes, you can choose from the following modes, self-use, schedule, peak shaving, manual, backup mode, and feed-in priority. For advanced settings, an advanced password is required, for the password please consult with Soliex authorized installers. After entering, you can set the data and time of the inverter. And choose the language. For advanced settings, mainly safety code, export control, meter or CT will be involved. You can choose the safety code according to the local requirements. Also the IES can do export control, set the value to be zero if there is a zero injection requirement. By default the inverter is set to CT, change to meter if the inverter is connected to a meter. Use your smartphone to scan the QR code to download the Solax Cloud app. Firstly input the username and password to log in the app, if you do not have an account yet, click create a new account in the bottom. Secondly touch the plus icon in the middle of the page, fill in the site information to create a site, such as site name, size, location etc and scan the QR code of the pocket Wi-Fi to add the inverter. Next, configure Wi-Fi connection for the Wi-Fi module. For more information about the operation of Wi-Fi configuration, please refer to the Wi-Fi dongle video. Touch the device icon and then touch the settings button to enter the settings page. Settings includes user settings and advanced settings. Once you access the system on or OFF interface, you can remotely configure the system to turn on or OFF as desired. After entering into the work mode interface, you can set self-use, feed-in priority, backup mode, manual, peak shaving, schedule as follows. The default password should be set by Soliex authorized installers. After entering into the user settings interface, you can set the data and time firstly. The inverter provides multiple languages for users to choose. Here you can set safety code according to different grid tied standards. Please refer to the table for some main codes. Set the system maximum allowed feed in power to the grid. Especially, when there is a zero injection requirement just set the value to be zero.
By default the inverter is set to CT, change to meter if the inverter is connected to a meter. Thank you for watching.